Blending of Two Lives, September 3 Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Genesis chapter 2, 24 God has ordained that there should be perfect love and harmony between those who enter into the marriage relation. Let the bride and bridegroom, in the presence of the heavenly universe, pledge themselves to love each other as God has ordained they should. Around each family there is a sacred circle that should be kept unbroken. Within this circle, no other person has a right to come. Let not the husband or the wife permit another to share the confidences that belong solely to themselves. Let each give love rather than exact it. Cultivate what is noblest in yourselves and be quick to recognize the good qualities in each other. Affection may be as clear as crystal and beauteous in its purity, yet it may be shallow because it has not been tested and tried. Make Christ first and last and best in everything. Constantly behold Him, and your love for Him will daily become deeper and stronger as it is submitted to the test of trial. And as your love for Him increases, your love for each other will grow deeper and stronger. If Christ indeed is formed within the hope of glory, there will be union and love in the home. Christ abiding in the heart of the wife will be at agreement with Christ abiding in the heart of the husband. They will be striving together for the mansions Christ has gone to prepare for those who love Him. Only where Christ reigns can there be deep, true, unselfish love. Then soul will be knit with soul, and the two lives will blend in harmony. Angels of God will be guests in the home, and their holy vigils will hallow the marriage chamber. The sweetest type of heaven is a home where the Spirit of the Lord presides.